I'm Andrew Payne. I'm currently studying for my engineering PhD. What you're looking at here is a very thin layer of liquid crystal caught between two polarizing filters. The molecules of the liquid crystal are rod shaped and they all tend to align themselves in the same direction and lie down, which causes the roughly smooth purple background that you see to the image. Uh, as an electric current is applied across the cell, the molecules tend to orientate themselves to the, the direction of the field and affect the colour of the light that you see passing through. What you're seeing here is the, the growth of structure and then the sudden relaxation of structure when the electric current is removed. And this is roughly how a liquid crystal television works. My name is Anthony Rubenstein. Uh, this is a picture I took in rural Malawi, uh, working for a charity called AquaAid, uh, who are actually the charity or the company that provide water to the engineering department here in Cambridge. The images of Francis, uh, a friend we made and the local engineer. Uh, although he had no official training, he single-handedly brought water to scores of local villages through his ingenuity and hard craft. Painstakingly, we watched it firsthand. Uh, through manual excavation and litres of sweat, he perfected his own design of elephant pump using mud, rope, plastic bottles and bike tyres. The scene itself shows him in one of his elephant pumps, uh, fixing a slight malfunction. Uh, nervously, the villagers were crowded around, the children peering in. Didn't really want to accept the reality that it might well have dried up for good, uh, but thankfully, order was restored. He fired a cheeky wink off to me and my camera, and the day went on as normal. I'm Yarin, I'm a third year PhD student at the Machine Learning Group, where we work on extrapolation, among other things. In extrapolation, we estimate beyond the range of observation. When applied to the edges of a painting, we get extrapolated art. Van Gogh's Starry Night is one painting in a series of extrapolated artworks we have online. My name is Tanvir Kureshi. I'm from Bangladesh. Here the scanning electron microscope image shows the formation of a crack bridging in cement materials for concrete crack self-healing. The sample was collected from cement self-healing zone and these flower-like bridges found to have effectively expanded in the crack zone, sealed and healed the cracks. Our research is trying to find the optimum mix of associated minerals to add to concrete in order to improve its self-healing capacity. I am Adrianus Indrat Arya. I am a postdoc in the Department of Engineering. The picture you are seeing is a false-colored electron microscope image of a graphene foam. Graphene foam is basically graphene with 3D configuration. It has a very low density, a very high surface area, and exceptional mechanical and electrical properties. Some applications of graphene foam include energy storage and ultra-lightweight structures. <laughs> 